Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to show how you can share your Tecla structures model with anybody, whether they have a Tecla license or not. The way that we do that is utilizing the public links feature available in Trimble Connect. So I'm using version 2020. For all 2020 licenses that are on maintenance, you will receive a Trimble Connect for Business license, which will allow you to do this workflow. We've received a lot of interest about it, so I wanted to create a dedicated video to show you how you can do this. But basically what it allows you to do is to create a link that you can share with anybody and they can open it in a web browser on any device and be able to view the model. We used to support a web XML viewer where you could create an HTML file and share that with people so they could open it up in a browser. That's no longer supported and this is a great replacement for that. A popular way for sharing models also is using the published PDF extension available for download on the warehouse. That's probably our most downloaded extension. But that only allows you to share the native Tecla structures model with people. If you want to view the Tecla model in relation to reference files that are already in your Tecla project, you wouldn't be able to do that using the 3D PDF, but you can do that utilizing this workflow. So when you create a new model in Tecla Structures version 2020, you'll see a dialog that will prompt you to automatically link it to a project in Trimble Connect. You can go ahead and fill out that information. If this is an existing project, you can simply just go to File, Trimble Connect, and then click on Start Collaboration. You'll then see the exact same dialog box, and you'll be able to then link to an existing Trimble Connect project or go ahead and create a brand new project. So this dialog box will automatically populate the name of your Tecla Structures project to be the name of your Trimble Connect project. Or like I said, you can hit this drop down and link to any existing project if you want. You can choose the server location and then you can also choose your license. So I have a Trimble Connect Business Premium license. For those that have the business license, it'll say Trimble Connect Business. And then you also have one project for free using the Trimble Connect for free if you haven't utilized that yet. If you have a business license, I recommend that you link it to that. And then just go ahead and click on Create. This will create the Trimble Connect project for you and then link your Tecla Structures project to Trimble Connect. If you come up here to the Trimble Connect tab, you can see these tools that are available here. If you want to upload the model, you can simply click this button. It will save your Tecla Structures project and it will upload a reference model of your Tecla Structures project into Trimble Connect that you can then share with other people. You can see over here on the right hand side that I have several reference models. If I want to include those I can do that as well. I'll just turn a couple of these on so you can see them how those are viewed. So if this is the model uh, that you want to share with people we can upload those as well and include it in the public link. So the way to do that is coming up here and clicking on the models. This is really nice. We have two tabs here where on the overlay models, it'll show any of the 3D models or 2D files that are in Trimble Connect already. And you can simply overlay those into your Tecla Structures project. So you don't have to download them and import them or insert them as reference models. You can just simply overlay them. I don't have any in this project, but if I did, you could just click on to overlay them. On this Reference Models tab here, you can come in and you can determine where you want these to be stored. But what this will then do is it'll allow you to see all of the reference models that you have over here on the right hand side. And you can choose to upload those into the Trimble Connect project. So I'll upload that one and then let's also upload the mechanical. And then these will be the three models that we want to share with people in this public link. So now that that's complete, we can come in and just minimize that. And then if we want to view these together in Trimble Connect, we can do that. So I'll just go ahead and click this browser button. This will launch my default browser. So here I can see these three files. If we want to quickly view them, I can just toggle them on. This is the Tecla Structures model that we uploaded. Again, this is a reference model, so it's still a protected workflow utilizing the reference models. If you want to toggle on the other files, of course, we can just click those on or off to be able to view all of this. And currently, I'm using the 3D Viewer. If I want to open this up in the Trimble Connect Explorer, I'm going to click this button up here. That will then open up this interface where I'll be able to generate these public links. So this is the Explorer portion of Trimble Connect. 
So to share models or files, you can just select them. And then over here on the right hand side, we have this share option. We have this drop down where we can share with specific members of the project. We can share with signed in users with the link, or we can share with any users with the link. And that's the public option that we want to select. If you want to set an expiration date, you can do that there as well. And then you have two options to view only or to view and download. So this public link option works with anything that's in Trimble Connect. So if you wanted to share files or drawings or something like that and allow people to download them, you can do that. Or you can just simply give them a view only option. Since we're generating links to view models, I'm just going to keep it to view only. And then I'll input the email address of who I want to share that with. But if you just want to create a link, you can simply click share. And then you have the option to copy the link. So I'm going to copy this first link. You can see that it generates a link for each file. But if you just select this top one here, all three models will be included in it. So I'll just right click and choose copy. Click OK. And then I can share that with anybody that I want. So to simulate that, what I'm going to do is open up an incognito window here, and I'll just paste in this URL. So this is what the person on the receiving side would see. They'll go ahead and accept the cookies. And then what this will do is it will load in a stripped down viewer that we were just looking at and allow them to view and interact with the model. So here you can see everything's overlaid correctly the way that we want they have the ability to toggle on or off these models if they zoom in here you can see all of the different complexities of the model if we want to take a look at something really close we can do that you can see the buttons that they have access to up here where they can come in and pull dimensions so if i activate this i can click a dimension from corner to corner over here, they can come in and toggle in the different units. So if you want to set this to be whatever the case may be here, I'll just change this to be Imperial down to a 16th of an inch, and that will automatically update the view. They can create clip planes, they can cloud things, but they won't be able to share that with anybody. This is just a stripped down viewer that they can use to interact with the model. You also have the ability here, if you click on an object, to view properties. So you can expand the property sets. If you see the stars here, you can mark these as favorites. So let's say that we always want to see the assembly position, the name, and the profile and grade of material. Then what we can do is just refresh this list. And now those will be the settings that are always shown at top. If you want to expand this to view everything else, you can do that. But then it makes it real nice and easy just to click around and view information about this project. So that same workflow also works with the other reference models. So if you come in and click on these, you'll see all of the different property sets that were included with that. And then as soon as they close the browser, they can go back to their work. So it's a really nice, easy way to be able to share the model and reference models from Techless Structures to other users, whether they have a license of Trimble Connect or not, whether they have a Techless Structures license or not, utilizing these public links in Trimble Connect is a great way to share information and to benefit other people working on the project. So I hope you found this useful. We've received a lot of feedback about this and questions about how to generate these links. As always, we invite you to try it out. Send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this development.